This works now? Test? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Way too much. This works? Works? Yeah? Hello? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like this? It's better? Yeah? Of course. Bit <laughs> wobbly. All right. Okay. Thanks. Hello. Well, welcome to the birthday tent at the 1500 time slot. Um, I'm Andreas. I'm here to introduce Dominic for us. He's reporting about a proof of concept approach to uh, disturbing fishes and fucking up the game. It's called a fish fucker. Enjoy. Give me your hands, please, for Dominic. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks, Harold, for the introduction. Uh, first of all, I have to emphasize. I will, no, you will hear the word fish fucker during the next hour a lot of times, but please, I have to emphasize, I don't, it has nothing in common with a bad F word, okay? So, what I want to talk about today is uh, how can we use the methods the fishers use against them. Therefore, I will introduce a, a proof of concept uh, which we created during the last uh, years and months, and we named it fish fucker. So, first of all, what are, what, what's the fundamental problem we have to face? Um, fishing works. Fishing definitely works, and you can earn a lot of money with it if you do it properly. So, uh, ID or identi identity theft is one of the main problems we have to face during the next years, uh, especially the industrial nations, because this is where the money goes to. Um, Another argument why fishing is so popular, uh, you don't need any skill for mounting phishing attacks. I mean, you just uh, have to, 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 get some, to read some tutorials like uh, fishing for dummies or something like this, and then you can be a real fisher. Um, and uh, the question, what we have to answer today is, do the countermeasures we currently have against phishing, do these countermeasures really work? So, um, first of all, I have to bore you a little bit with some small basics to make sure that everybody has the same knowledge about it. I think we all know how fishing works, but I have to repeat it again for making sure that everybody understands the concept we, or the approach we created. So, the fisher, or the fishing circle, we can divide it into four main parts. During the mounting stage, the fisher uh, is preparing his attack. I mean, he can download some prepared fishing kits, he has to own some boxes, or he, he will buy some own boxes where he can host his fishing kits. He will prepare the spam campaign for distributing uh, his malicious links, and so on. So this is the first stage. After that, the real fishing attack can begin. This means the victim at home, per perhaps your, your grandma or your parents, uh, they click on a malicious link, they think, oh yes, that's my bank, they want something from me, it's better that I fill in my uh, personal credentials, otherwise perhaps I get problems, so um, they go to the phishing website and they submit their personal credentials. All these credentials are transferred after that uh, to, uh, to the fisher, and the fisher then takes these accounts, tests them, and um, transfers the money to so-called mules. A mule is a, is a guy 
who wants to earn money very quick and very easily. This means if you're a, mule, a money mule, you say, okay, you sent me $10,000, I keep 3,000, and the rest of it I will send to another uh, bank account. And uh, the fishers use these mules in order to hide their traces. So the, my money, if I'm a victim of phishing, I submit the credentials, these credentials get to the fisher, the fisher will send it to, mule, to one mule, the next mule, uh, the mule will send it to the next one, and so on. And in the last stage, the money is transferred abroad. A lot of times by um, uh, using um, one of these withdrawal, um, for instance, uh, I've forgotten the word. Western Union, thank you, thank you, exactly. So the money is gone in a foreign country. Some guy will go to a Western Union um, office and say, okay, I'll get the money. And then